This is Bishop George Murray. On behalf of your Catholic friends and neighbors in the Diocese of Youngstown, I invite you to join us for this celebration of the Holy Mass. Good morning, and welcome to our celebration of Holy Mass. Today is the baptism of the Lord. Our celebrated is Father Jim Corda, president of CTNY, the Catholic television network of Youngstown. I am Tom McCarthy from St. Charles in Boardman. As we pray this Mass, let us remember in our prayers Dr. Bing and Valoria Domingo and family. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's good to be with you today as we gather to celebrate this special feast of our baptism in Christ and our communion with God, Father, Son, and Spirit. So now let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us this day with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us join the angels in their hymn of praise. Glory to, to God, God in the, the highest, highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of good will. will. We, we praise, praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, you. we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly King, King O God, God, Almighty Father, Father Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten Son, Son Lord God, God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the Father, Father you, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take, you take away, away the, the sins of the world, world receive, receive our, our prayer. prayer. You, you are seated at the right hand of the Father, Father. have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who when Christ had been baptized in the river Jordan and as the Holy Spirit descended upon him, solemnly declared him your beloved son, grant that your children by adoption, reborn of water and the Holy Spirit, may always be well-pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring justice, he shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The Lord will bless his people with peace. Give to the Lord, you sons of God. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Adore the Lord in holy attire. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The voice of the Lord is over the waters, the Lord over vast waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty. The voice of the Lord is majestic. The Lord will bless his people with peace. The God of glory thunders, and all in his temple say, glory. The Lord is enthroned above the flood. The Lord is enthroned as king forever. 
The Lord will bless his people with peace. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak to those gathered in the house of Cornelius, saying, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. You know the word that he sent to the Israelites as he proclaimed peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. What has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, for God was with him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus came from the Galilee to John at the Jordan to be baptized by him. John tried to prevent him, saying, I need to be baptized by you, and yet you are coming to me. Jesus said to him in reply, Allow it now. For thus it is fitting for us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he allowed him. After Jesus was baptized, he came up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened for him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming upon him. And a voice came from the heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased." The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My friends, do you remember the opening line of the movie, Filled of Dreams? It goes like this. All we had in common was that she was from Iowa, and I had heard of Iowa. When we married, we lived with her parents as long as we could stand it, which was most of an afternoon. We had a daughter. She smelled bad, but we loved her anyway. And I never did a spontaneous thing a day in my life until the day I heard the voice. What follows is the story of how an Iowa farmer changed a cornfield into a baseball field. And although the directions of the voice caused the farmer to suffer the derision of his neighbors, it also led him to the reconciliation with the memory of his own father. Voices. The Apostle Paul heard a voice on the road to Damascus, and he was never the same. Joan of Arc heard a voice, and she became a courageous leader among her own people. Does anyone here today hear voices? Now, before you say no, let me suggest that all of us at one time or another have inner voices that we hear, voices from our past, voices that direct our steps and directions. Now, some of those voices whisper condemnation. Some voices whisper affirmation. You know, it makes all the difference in the world to which voice we listen to the most. One of those voices, again, is that of condemnation. Now, this is the voice that springs up from those infected places of past hurts. Maybe you were ridiculed as a child. Maybe you were hurt in an early attempt at marriage. Maybe you have a moral failure from your past, and you ask God to forgive you, and he has, but you can't forgive yourself. Do you recognize that voice? Believe me when I tell you that that voice is not telling you the truth. Listen to the real truth about yourself. In his letter to the Roman, St. Paul said, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Now the other voice is a voice of affirmation. Now that is the good voice. Now we all from time to time need pats on the back and to be recognized and applauded for the excellent work that we do. But 
remember, do not confuse this voice with the voice of God. Listen still for God's voice. The voice of God is the voice that Jesus heard at his baptism. Notice that this blessing from God came before all of the good things that Jesus was about to accomplish. This voice affirmed Jesus as God's son. Remember, God loved Jesus for who he was, not for what he did or what he was going to accomplish. It really was an unconditional love. And God loves you and me in exactly the same way. He loves us for who we are, not for what we do or for who others think we are. Listen for the right voice. Do you hear it? You are my beloved son and daughter. With you, I am well pleased. Together now, let us profess the faith that we all share. I believe in one God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker, maker of, of heaven and, and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born of the Father before, before all, all ages, God, God from God, God light from light, from light true God, God from true, true God, begotten, not, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through, through him, him all things were made. made. For, for us men and for our salvation, salvation he came down, down from heaven. heaven. And, and by, by the Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and became man. man. For our, our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Humbly now let us present to God our special petitions. For God's holy church, that we may boldly proclaim the good news and work to bring justice, peace, and hope to every corner of the world. Let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For nations and regions of the earth, blessed with an abundance of fresh water, that they may share this precious life-giving resource with those in need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those in prison, that they may be treated humanely, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in college who will be resuming their studies in the coming days, that their thirst for knowledge and love of learning may bear fruit for years to come. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all baptized Christians, that they may grow in God's grace as we live out our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God in heaven, we praise and thank you, especially on this feast, as we celebrate our adoption as your sons and daughters. And one day be welcome us to the fullness of life in your kingdom. We make this prayer in the spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God 
forever. And let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings we have brought to honor the revealing of your beloved Son, so that the oblation of your faithful may be transformed into the sacrifice of him who willed in his compassion to wash away the sins of the world, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For in the waters of the Jordan, you reveal what signs and wonders a new baptism so that through the voice that came down from heaven, we might come to believe in your word dwelling among us. And by the spirits descending in the likeness of a dove, we might know that Christ, your servant, has been anointed with the oil of gladness and sent to bring the good news to the poor. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty without end, we acclaim. Holy holy holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Paul and with all the saints, 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy, thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. In heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us share with those around us a sign of peace. Peace, peace be with you, Father. Thank you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of the world, world. have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am I'm not, not worthy, worthy that, that you, you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and my soul, soul shall be healed. healed. Let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly entreat your mercy, O Lord, that faithfully listening to your only begotten Son, 
we may be your children in name and in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your head and pray for God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you grace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from harm throughout the year. Amen. May he give you integrity in the faith, endurance in hope, and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end. Amen. May he order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.